parlor again. There's a blizzard outside, and at this point, it's negative five degrees Fahrenheit outside. Might keep dropping throughout the night. I don't really know. It feels like negative 25, so it feels chilly. I've noticed it quite a bit in here, but. Not as warm as usual? No. But we're milking tonight. That way um, our hired help don't have to drive in because the roads are kind of nasty. Yeah. And so, yeah. So how we heat our parlor, we have two different sources, two different sources of heat. Um, one is a, you turn the camera a little bit right there. That is a purifier 200,000 BTU burner. And that one kind of can put a lot of heat out in a hurry. Yeah, and that's the one I like. You like that one because it blows right down in here. And then over in the corner, in the corner here we have another hot water, it's a hot water radiated heat. Um, that one there is hooked in loop with a hot water heater. So it circulates hot water, 180 degree water from the hot water heater through that. And that is uh, another source of heat. When I first built here, we only ran off the purifier heater. And then on the really cold days, it wasn't enough. I'd have to bring something else in. So being tonight that it's five below outside right now, uh, we can run both heaters. And that's a combination of 400,000 BTUs. Plus, we have in the cooling room, them, our melt coolers, we can close them rooms off and we can draw the heat out of them too if necessary. And tonight, it's like these two heaters plus the heater room, and then it keeps it pretty nice in here. See the steam though? Yeah, because we shut the heat off. Yeah, we just shut the heat off so we could talk and you could hear us. So right now- So you, now it's getting cold in here. Now you see the, the cold air coming in and working its way in. Yep. Turn the heat back on, by the way. Um, got a whole group of cows we gotta milk yet. We were halfway done, so. Some of you guys might ask about, too, what kind of uh, butter dip that we use when it's so cold out. Some guys do switch. This is what we use. It comes out of this. Out of this hose. Um, we use a Legend SA, and it's a year-round tip dip. Um, so it has already in it the uh, like the winter, lotion, yeah, the winter lotions and everything like that. So I do not switch from a summer blend to a winter blend. This blend I use year round. It has all the I got a special name for it, but it has the lotions in it, and uh, it, it helps protect their it udder. It will not from freeze chapping. on their It will not freeze on it because it's an iodine. And because of the lotion, it will not freeze on it either. So it keeps their teeth from getting chapped. Because when it's this cold, I know some guys run into issues with it, especially if you use a peroxide base or a bleach base. But we're pretty, uh, I'm very happy with this. I've been using it almost 30 years and have not changed. Woo, let's get her warmed up in here. Hello, it's a new day. It's the next day actually since milking cows last night and last night was brutally cold for us the wind chill was negative 25 i believe and the air temperature was below zero i think it was five below but it was cold so then this morning we woke up and had a few issues here on the farm i know there's those of you that think winter time is this wonderful time of the year it's beautiful the snow is on the trees and all you know it's all beautiful but when you have to work out in these types of elements it is dangerous actually um, the guys have been coming in periodically as they can to warm up their hands their feet they get really cold their faces that's why I have this on because last night I didn't wear anything to protect my face and just walking from the calf barn to the milking parlor, my face was numb. Well, I did go to the chicken coop in between, but my face was just so sore. Anyway, so um, it can be very dangerous 
we are taking precautions we're trying to get in where it's a little bit warmer um, periodically I know the guys had some issues this morning the skid both skid loaders we have two bobcat skid loaders and both of them would not start so if anything is a little bit weak you know it's gonna have problems when it gets this cold the feeding tractor would not start they parked it inside the barn um, thinking that it would stay warm enough in there this morning the battery was not strong enough to start it so they had to jump that and it, everything just took so much longer then this morning when I came out to do calf chores this room which I'm in right now which is heated this is the milk room it is heated through the floor it has in-floor heating and that in-floor heating is heated by our water heater and the water heater was not working so we worked and worked and worked on trying to get it relit but the pilot wouldn't stay lit it's running right now because sydney worked his wonders and um, i'm so thankful for him because i could not get it going over here i have an automatic feeding system and there was some milk in here that a calf had not finished and it froze in there so not only was the room cold but the milk was cold and it was frozen in the line this is a line that the milk goes through that the calf can suck out through the nipple and there was frozen milk in the line and it couldn't make a new feeding and the calf couldn't suck what was in here and it was and so all the calves were starving this morning because obviously it had been frozen for several hours because none of the calves had had um, their feedings for today yet anyways we got them all fed I'm back in the calf barn now because I just want to double check everything. This is what it looks like today. Looks like everybody's pretty good. Nobody's coming up to run after me. Everybody's good in here. Do you want a bottle? She might want a feeding. Cats are hanging out down in the feeder um, because if a if a calf spills any milk out of its mouth, that calf that kitty cat is right there to lick it up. Wow, you guys are! I'll get you both some some milk, okay? what everything looks like uh, today. Yesterday it was windy. Windy and snowy. We've had a little bit of lake effect snow today but not nearly as much. My only conundrum is getting to the chicken coop because nobody has plowed me a path and I haven't plowed myself a path so I'm walking in knee deep to thigh deep snow here there's a couple drifts like i don't know if you can really see that drift but there's some drifts that are whoop. there's some drifts that are pretty deep around here wow turkey's out so i have to work on this door because i couldn't get it closed when we checked on them earlier quiet Oh boy. So the turkeys have made their home in here. I had to figure out why the door isn't closing. I thought it was snow here in the corner, like right in there. I really don't think that's what it is. Ooh, it is. God, unless it's this snow. Could be this snow. Everything's a little frozen. Anyway, I brought the chicken some slop, which is their grain and has a little bit of um, broth in it. So I had cooked a couple roasts and that was the broth with some of the fat and that will be good for them. Here's the drift that I was talking about. I have to walk right through it, and that's up to my thighs in the lowest spot. So, 
going through it. I have to walk all the way over there. I just had to travel through all the deep snow, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> That's good for oh, you. I know. That way you don't have to go to the gym. Okay. And your nose is red. <laughs> it's red? Yeah. No, it's not red. So yes, today has been an interesting day. We had, uh, what, five below? Yeah. This morning, so our first skid loader we started, it blew the top out of the uh, hydraulic filter. I mean, it started and it just went pop. So I'm thankful that it's a, today is a, what is it Monday? Bobcat's open, so we went to Bobcat and got a new top. Then the other skid loader that ran and then what died? I don't know that it ran. Did it? Did it run for a little bit? 150. Okay. I know that it kept the Oh yeah, so that one had some ice in the fuel filter. So we spun a new one of those on, and uh, we we're good on that. And then the other skid loader, um, same thing, it died. So we uh, spun a new filter on it, but it ended up, that one had a little bit of ice in the line from the fuel tank. So, That's not good. So we dumped some hot water on that, and we put some uh, fuel additive, and that'll take care of that. So right now we're trying to, we have to tough grind hay and uh, we're going to do some plowing with the tractor too, but not quite enough battery to start it because it's like five, ten degrees now. Yeah, it's about seven degrees now. Yeah. It's warmed so. up quite a bit. <laughs> and uh, so you're using Sanders truck? Yeah. I've actually I, had some of our viewers ask about Sanders truck and how the progress is on it. He turned 16 in March. Yep. And uh, I think he's got one issue. You got one issue on it yet? More than one. Oh, more than one. So uh, he's trying to work up. He's trying to uh, make some money so he can buy a few more parts for it. Get it fixed before. But it started today. So well, that's a good. Yeah. But he'd like to be able to drive it once he turns 16 and gets his license. Oh, yeah, we've been uh, just getting stuff going and it's taking longer to get things done. Yep. yep. Right. And snow blew in here last couple days, so the oh. tractor's got snow on it and the bales have some snow on it. But that happens. I think last video you said that this tractor starts very faithfully. It does down to about 15. Oh, 15 degrees? Staying warm? Sort of. My hands are already cold. Nope. Not quite. Not quite. Shortly though. Alright, go right, we stopped to the shop. Gra grabbed a can of ether or starting fluid, whatever you want to call it. People like to mess these up. Oh, the Allen wrenches? Yeah. They don't keep them in order? No, I do have pliers. It's kind of hard when you keep them in a bucket. I do have pliers. <laughs> you have pliers? You do have pliers? Oh, that's the only way I can lock my hubs. No, I have the perfect one. Go we'll grab them. The perfect one sitting on the top. Huh? Go we'll grab the pliers? Where are they? In the truck? Yeah. Your locking hubs don't work. Look at that, you both work together. Yep. Your locking hubs don't work? No. Hmm. I don't think the airline has that. The panel was frozen. Yeah.
give it a little snort of ether and uh, see if she'll go. You gonna do it? I preheat. Let me know when you're ready. are doing good. Sydney just fed them so they're eating today uh, but yeah they're hanging in there handling the cold. Doing good aren't ya? You got the hydraulics going? Now they gotta grind some hay this afternoon. I feel like the wind is picking up a little bit. Yeah, I'm warm. <laughs> 